So let's take a look at the Spark controller. When you're uh, connecting the controller to the drone, it's always best to start the controller first and, and fire the controller up first. The DJI connection is still not a fine science. It, it works a lot of the time, but sometimes you will put all this together, you'll power the controller on, you'll power the drone on, and they won't connect for some reason. There's no logic to it, there's no reason for it. Normally when you've got somebody around with you, you have to just power everything off and start again, then it connects. But the, the best way to make sure it does connect is to start the controller first and then power the drone on. So it's a short and a long press. Hold it down. So the controller is now powered up. And let's press the battery on the drone and power the drone on. And when they're connected, you'll see this light here change to green. So the drone's going through its setup procedure. And now the light has turned green. Make sure the aerials are up because they're omnidirectional aerials. But we haven't got the tablet connected at all yet. I've left that off. Looking at the controller now, you've got the on and off button. We mentioned about the home button here, pressing the home button first. This is a pause button. If you're flying in some automated flight mode, which we'll talk about later in the course, then if you want to pause it, you can press the pause button, and that has a number of functions. There's a button in the middle called Sport, which makes the drone go faster, and this is a function button where you can pre-program various functions moving the camera. There is the controller. On the top, we talked about earlier that there's um, the button here to press which starts the videos and then over here to take a single image or a number of images and then on the left here is a wheel just here you can see which is the wheel to move the gimbal camera gimbal up and down and then there's another function button here so that's the basic controller for the spark now the spark can fly without a controller but with gestures but it is quite difficult to do and i think it's more of a gimmick really so every time we've ever used the spark now we've always got the controller so let's just pull this away from any other debris and let's just click it down and arm the motors so we've now got the drone running so we know it's connected everything's fine and let's just pull this to the bottom and kill the motors and that's the dj i spark if you enjoyed this video, then subscribe to the channel or watch the next video in the playlist or the new videos that we've just recently downloaded. Bye for now.